Welcome. In this short tutorial, we're going to cover how you can track Canadian duty and rest requirements with Log10 Pro. With regard to flight time limitations, these can be tracked in Log10 Pro using limit groups. To set up the 40 hours of flight time in 7 days limit, tap Radar and then Plan. Tap the plus button in the top left. Choose New Limits Group. Choose a name for the group, 40 in 7. Set in last to 7 days and in next to 24 hours. Then set the flags to 40, 20, and 10. Then tap Configure and set Category to Time, Key to Total Time, Operator to Less Than or Equal to, and set the value to 40. Done. For 120 hours and 30 consecutive days, duplicate the 7 day limit by tapping the group, then edit, then the action button on the top right, then hit duplicate. Rename the group 120 in 30, and then change in last to 30 days. Set the flags to appropriate levels, and then set the value in the total time criteria to 120. Done. Follow the same process for the 90 and 365 day limits. A link for each limit is also included in the description below this video, which you can click to automatically open Log10 Pro and install the group. With regard to flight duty limitations and rest periods, in order for these limits to track correctly, you must fill in the duty section of your logbook. To ensure these fields are visible, turn them on by tapping any flight in the logbook section, then tap the actions button in the top right, then configure fields, then scroll down to the duty section and tap configure section. Here you can see that we already have on and off duty turned on. And we'll turn total duty on as well. Now we'll head back to the plan tab in radar and set up the groups. For the 24 hour flight duty time limit, tap the plus button in the top left. Choose new limits group, then add a name for the group, 14 and 24. Set in last to 14 hours, in next to 24 hours. Set the flags to 14, 5, and 1. Then tap configure and set category to duty, key to total duty, operator to less than or equal to, and the value to 14. Done. The time loop bar in the plan tab of the radar section helps pilots to see their live flight duty time. The duty bar shows the current scheduled duty period time as 8 hours and 50 minutes. Assuming no schedule changes, the current duty day would comply with the maximum flight duty period limit. Under duty period, you can see an elapsed time of 4 hours and 49 minutes and a time remaining of 4 hours and 1 minute for a planned duty day of 8 hours and 50 minutes. Below that, you can see that we are 19 minutes into our Ottawa-Toronto leg. Finally, Log10 Pro now allows you to track the following requirement regarding time free from duty. 36 consecutive hours of rest once within each 7 consecutive days, or 3 consecutive calendar days within each 17 consecutive days. To set the 7 day rest group up, click the plus button in the top left of the radar plan section. Then choose new currency group. Choose a name for the group. Rest 36 in 168. Set in last to 168 hours, in next to 24 hours, then set the flags to 36, 20, and 5. Then tap configure and choose category duty, key consecutive rest, operator greater than or equal to, and set the value to 36. Done. To set the 17 day rest group up, duplicate the 7 day group by tapping the group, then edit, then the action button on the top right, and then duplicate. Tap on the copy group, then tap on edit, then change the name to rest 72 and 408, change in last to 408 hours, set the flags to 72, 30, and 10, and change the value in the criteria to 72. Done. And of course, if you have any questions about tracking car, duty, and limits requirements, or indeed any other feature of Log10 Pro, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by tapping More, then Help, then Contact Support. Thanks for watching.